India and Hinduism has influenced many countries of East Asia and the Indian subcontinent as a result of commercial and cultural contacts. Ganesha is one of many Hindu deities who reached foreign lands as a result. The worship of Ganesha by Hindus outside of India shows regional variation. The acceptance of Hindu ideas in ancient times still continue today in world religions. Ganesha was a deity particularly worshipped by traders and merchants, who went out of India for commercial ventures. The period from approximately the 10th century onwards was marked by the development of new networks of exchange, the formation of trade guilds, and a resurgence of money circulation, and it was during this time that Ganesha became the principal deity associated with traders. The earliest inscription where Ganesha is invoked before any other deity is by the merchant community. Topic. Jainism Ganesha is worshipped by only some Jainas, for whom he appears to have taken over certain functions of Kubera. Jaina connections with the trading community support the idea that Jainism took up the worship of Ganesha as a result of commercial connections. The Jaina canonical literature does not mention the cult of Ganesha. The earliest literary reference to Ganesha in Jainism is in Abhidhanasatamani of Himachandra, c. a. third quarter of 12th century. It refers to several appellations of Ganesha such as Harumba, Ganavanesa and Vinayaka and visualizes him as elephant-headed, pot-bellied, bearing an axe and riding a mouse. According to the Swedambara Jaina work, Akaradinakara of Vardhamanasori c. A.D. 1412, Ganapati is propitiated even by the gods to get desirable things. It is further mentioned that he is worshipped at the beginning of every auspicious ceremony and new project. This practice is still very common in the Swedambara community. The text provides procedures for the installation of Ganapati images. The popularity is however not met with in Digambara texts. Excepting two medieval figures carved at Udiagiri and Khandagiri caves, Orissa and an early figure at Mathura, his representations are not found in any Digambara sites. The earliest known Jaina Ganesha statue at Mathura with Jaina Yakshi Ambika, the Jaina name for Gori, dates to about the 9th century AD. Images of Ganesha appear in the Jaina temples of Rajasthan and Gujarat. In the 10th century Mahavir at Ganarav and 11th century temple in Ojan, Rajasthan, Ganesha images are found. <inaudible> <inaudible> Buddhism Ganesha also appears in Buddhism, not only in the form of the Buddhist god Vinayaka, but also portrayed as a Hindu deity form also called Vinayaka. His image may be found on Buddhist sculptures of the late Gupta period. As the Buddhist god Vinayaka, he is often shown dancing, a form called Inarta Ganapati that was popular in North India and adopted in Nepal and then into Tibet. A dancing Ganesha is evident in the Malay archipelago in the temple of Kandi Sukha. Topic: <inaudible> Tibetan Buddhism. Tibetan representations of Ganesha show ambivalent views of him. In one Tibetan form, he is shown being trodden underfoot by Mahakala, a popular Tibetan deity. Other depictions show him as the destroyer of obstacles, sometimes dancing. Ganapati, Maha Rakta, Tibetan. Tsoggi Dagpo, Mar Chen. English, the Great Red Lord of Hosts or Ganas is a tantric Buddhist form of Ganapati Ganesha, related to the Chakrasamvara cycle of Tantras. This form of Ganapati is regarded as an emanation of Avalokiteshvara. 
Beside a lapis lazuli rock mountain is a red lotus with eight petals, in the middle a blue rat expelling various jewels, above Sri Ganapati with a body red in color, having an elephant face with sharp white tusks and possessing three eyes, black hair tied in a topknot with a wishing gem and a red silk ribbon all in a bundle on the crown of the head. With twelve hands, the six right hold an axe, arrow, hook, vajra, sword and spear. The six left hold a pestle, bow, katvanga, skullcup filled with blood, skullcup filled with human flesh and a shield together with a spear and banner. The peaceful right and left hands are signified by the vajra and skullcup filled with blood held to the heart. The remaining hands are displayed in a threatening manner. Wearing various silks as a lower garment and adorned with a variety of jewel ornaments, the left foot is extended in a dancing manner, standing in the middle of the bright rays of red flickering light. Nagorchen Kanchag Landrup, 1497–1557 this form of Ganapati belongs to a set of three powerful deities known as the Mar Chen Kor Sum or the Three Great Red Deities included in a larger set called the Thirteen Golden Dharmas of Sakya. The other two deities are Karukul and Takiraja. In depictions of the six-armed protector Mahakala SKT, Shad Buja Mahakala, Wiley, Mgon Po Phyag Drug Pa, an elephant-headed figure usually addressed as Vinayaka is seen being trampled by the Dharma protector, but he does not appear distressed. In Vajrayana and cognate Buddhist art, he is depicted as a subdued god trampled by Buddhist deities like Aparahita, Parnasabari and Vignataka. The Tibetan Ganesha appears, besides bronzes, in the resplendent Thangka paintings alongside the Buddha. In Ganesh, Studies of an Asian God Edited by Robert L. Brown, State University of New York Press, 1992, page 241-242, he wrote that in the Tibetan Kagyur tradition, it is said that the Buddha had taught the Ganapati Ridaya Mantra, or Aryaganapati Mantra, to disciple Ananda. Topic. Shingon Buddhism Ganesha worship was brought to Japan by early Buddhists through China. In Japan the Ganesha cult was first mentioned in AD 806. Scholars commonly date the presence of Ganesha in Japan with the age of Kakai 774-834, the founder of the Shingon sect of Japanese Buddhism. The centrality of the worship of Ganesha or Vinayaka or Kangidan, as he is popularly called in Japan, is a distinguishing feature of this cult. The doctrines, rituals and beliefs of the sect have a number of parallels with the cult of Gunapatya. Also called the Deva of Bliss, Kangidan is invoked both for enlightenment and for worldly gains, more for the latter than the former. Kangidan is usually offered sweet confections called Kangidan, Huan Shi Tuan Bliss Buns, which are made from curds, honey, and red bean paste. They are wrapped in kneaded dough made from parched flour and shaped like a bun before they are deep fried. Kangidan is a variant of the Modak, said to be a favorite of Ganesha. Daikon, sake, and fresh fruits are also common offerings. The offerings are later partaken in the same spirit as Hindus take prasad. In the Hozenji Temple on Mount Ikoma in Nara, Shou Ten is worshipped mainly by the merchants. One in Osaka, we have the biggest temple of Shou Ten named Kaishozen Shouenji Temple, where, besides devotees, a permanent priest offers prayers daily. Two, a special temple is consecrated to the esoteric twin Ganesha at the Jingoji Monastery of Takao, where every year worship is held in his honor. Three. 
Ganesha is worshipped as god of love by many young boys and girls for achieving success in their courtship. The old worship him for success in business. Topic: <laughs> Kangi figures. There are more than 30 distinguishable forms of Ganesha in the Japanese iconographic tradition. There are several dual forms. The most typical dual form is the embracing Kangi. In this form two tall figures with elephant heads and human bodies, male and female, stand in embrace. A new concept of Vinayaka couple both elephant-headed, a unique development in the religious history of Japan. The concept of this twin form of Ganesha with Ganeshani could not develop in India. There are at least three variant types of embracing Kangi figures. Orthodox Shingon Buddhism interprets the details of all three types as sophisticated allegorical symbols. Sanford believes that these Orthodox Shingon interpretations, of considerable eventual importance in Japanese worship of Ganesha, developed during the Heian period in an attempt to legitimize Ganesha as a figure in Japanese Buddhism. Topic. Buddha in Hinduism Topic. Buddha as avatar of Ganesha Buddha appears as a name of Ganesha in the second verse of the Ganesha Purana version of the Ganesha Sahasranama. The positioning of this name at the beginning of the Ganesha Sahasranama indicates that the name was of importance to the authors of that scripture, who were Gunapatya Hindus. Bhaskaraya's commentary on the Ganesha Sahasranama says that this name for Ganesha means that the Buddha was an incarnation avatar of Ganesha. This interpretation is not widely known even among Gunapatya, and the Buddha is not mentioned in the lists of Ganesha's incarnations given in the main sections of the Ganesha Purana and Mudgala Purana. Bhaskaraya also provides a more general interpretation of this name as simply meaning that Ganesha's very form is eternal enlightenment, Nityabuddha, so he is named Buddha. Topic. Southeast Asia Hindus spread through maritime Southeast Asia and took their culture with them, including Ganesha, statues of whom are found throughout the region, often beside Shiva sanctuaries. The forms of Ganesha found in Hindu art of Java, Bali, and Borneo show specific regional influences. The gradual emigration of Hindus to Indochina established Ganesha in modified forms in Burma, Cambodia, and Thailand. In Indochina Hinduism and Buddhism were practiced side by side, and mutual influences can be seen in Ganesha iconography of that region. In Myanmar The king of Brahmas called Arsi, lost a wager to the king of Devas, Sakra Thogya Min, who decapitated Arsi as agreed but put the head of an elephant on the Brahma's body who then became Ganesha. In Thailand In Thailand, Ganesha is called Phra Pekanet, Phraphiknes or Phra Phikanesuan, Phraphiknes were and is worshipped as the deity of fortune and success, and the remover of obstacles. He is associated with arts, education, and trade. Ganesha appears in the emblem of the Department of Fine Arts for in Thailand. Large television channels and production companies have shrines in his honor in front of their premises. Few movies or television shows begin shooting without a Hindu ritual in which prayers and offerings are made to Ganesha. 
there are shrines to Ganesha across Thailand. One of the most revered shrines is the Royal Brahmin Temple in central Bangkok by the Giant Swing, where some of the oldest images can be found. Other old Ganesha images can be seen throughout Thailand, including a 10th-century bronze image found at Phang Na with both Tamil and Thai inscriptions. The Hindu temple, Wat Phra Shri Umadevi, in Siloam also houses a Ganesha image which was transported from India in the late 19th century. Thai Buddhists frequently pay respect to Ganesha and other Hindu deities as a result of the overlapping Buddhist, Hindu cosmology. He is honored with motaka, sweets and fruit, when business is good, and he is made ridiculous by putting his picture or statue upside down, when business is down. As Lord of Business and Diplomacy, he sits on a high pedestal outside Bangkok's Central World, formerly World Trade Center, where people offer flowers, incense, and a reverential sawazdi. Topic in Indonesia. With regards to Indonesia, European scholars call him the Indonesian god of wisdom. Bandung boasts a Ganesha street. A Ganesha statue from the 1st century AD was found on the summit of Mount Raksa in Panaitan Island, the Ujing Kulin National Park, West Java. While there are not temples dedicated specifically to Ganesha, he is found in every Shiva shrine throughout the islands. An 11th century AD Ganesha statue, seen in the picture below, was found in eastern Java. Kediri is placed in the Museum of Indian Art, Museum für Indische Kunst, Berlin Dahlem. The 9th century statue of Ganesha resides in western Sela, room of Prambanan Hindu temple. Ganesha is also featured in reliefs from Cambodian temples. Topic. Speculation related to Janus In 1785, William Jones drew a close comparison between a particular form of Ganesha, known as Dwimuki Ganesha, and Janus, the two-headed Roman god. Jones felt the resemblance between Dwimuki Ganesha and Janus was so strong that he referred to Ganesha as the Janus of India. The Dwimukhi Ganesha form is a very unusual depiction in which Ganesha is shown with the head of an elephant looking toward his right and a human head at his left. It was possessed of four arms. Nagar says that the Dwimukhi Ganesha form was associated with the region around Bombay. There was no clear claim by Jones either that Ganesha was worshipped by the Romans, or how Janus could have evolved from Ganesha as a prototype, or vice versa. This speculation was repeated by Volney in his Meditation on the Revolutions of Empires 1791, in which he noted the phonetic similarity between the names. Ganesha and Janus, and both gods' association with beginnings, and by Moore in the Hindu pantheon 1810. Moore expanded the claims of an association based on functional grounds, noting that Janus, like Ganesha, was invoked at the beginning of undertakings, a liminal god who was the guardian of gates. Moore made various other speculations on the connection between Janus and Ganesha. These fanciful connections proposed by early Indologists no longer appear in modern academic reviews of Ganesha's history. Ganesha is represented as having anywhere from one to five heads, so depictions with two heads are not reliable evidence of a connection with Janus. Representations of Ganesha with two heads are uncommon, and according to Nagar, textual references to the adoration of Ganesha with two heads are difficult to trace. There are no other examples of two-headed forms in which one head is human other than the Dwimuki Ganesha form. 
In the 32 mediation forms of Ganesha that are described in the Sritadvanidhi only one has two heads Dwimukhi Ganapati, the Ganapati with two faces, and both of those are heads of elephants, like all the other forms described. <laughs> Notes <laughs>